We got passengers back there. We're off to go get some work done on the farm. You licking ya? Yeah! Here, quit licking it. My daughter's not okay with me leaving the camera behind on those shots. What? The dogs always like to come help us on our walks. They're not very helpful. <laughs> Casey, come on. Always need cold water when working outside. It really helps. <laughs> set the remote for us. The... Come on, guys. Casey, come on. For as long as I remember, getting the mail has always been a highlight of our day on the farm. That was a little less than exciting. Sandy always makes the trip. She's just a little behind. She's an old girl. We forgive her. You will find out today that my dad is a lot more brave than me when we're outside. I am pretty scared of snakes. I hate them. Yet to kill a rattlesnake by hand with a hoe or anything. I've run over them, I've mowed over them, I've done lots of different things, but I'm scared to death of them. And we are just turning to the scene of the crime from two weeks ago where we saw a rattlesnake underneath these old irrigation pipes behind me. So. We're gonna see if there's any snakes, but you better be betting I'm gonna be high stepping around there. These things right here are old irrigation pipe for flood irrigation. But my sister and I growing up got to haul them, load them up on that trailer, line them up, hook them end to end. And then these are the gates the water came out of and you had to line up rows with those and open or shut that to irrigate your water or irrigate your water irrigate your crops if you use them for a long time they're just sitting here taking up space but there's really nowhere to sell them to that will give you much money for them so that feels like wasted money it is time to start in on the new ones which is when we start finding snakes chainsaw fuel. Gotta go get some for dad. <laughs> I don't think my dad appreciates me right now. That's not good. I'm gonna take mom's mail in 
well, I'll take mom and dad's mail into him and help rescue my mom for my kids. We're gonna fix lunch and eat lunch as a family. like to make lunch a collaborative effort. We need onions and pickles. I had to stop and pick some mulberries. So good. Okay, so here's the story. I went over to get uh, the stuff from my house and I was eating mulberries and there was a bird going nuts. There is a uh, bull snake wrapped around a robin's nest eating the babies. It's not too far from our door so I came over to get my dad because snakes freak me out. Side note, I know some people think that bull snakes are fine, and they really are fine, they're pretty much harmless, but if it's in my yard where my kids are gonna be playing, or on my house, it's not gonna come back. This brave man right here saved me from the snake. And we have, <laughs> and we have the onion, and we have the pickles. Okay, it's after lunch, loaded kids up. We're gonna go into my hometown. I've gotta get something from some friends in town there. And it just so happens to be at a coffee shop. Yay. I hope to never repeat the snake experience ever, ever again. Ugh. Skin's been crawling all day because of it. Thank goodness. I live close to my parents. Anyways, hopefully you guys have seen a little glimpse of what my life is like in the summertime, living on the farm, and we'll catch you next time. Bye.